Hey, bro, check this out. So, in life, you will get to this point where you now understand that it's time to confess about something to yourself and you have to break it to other people as well. Okay. This is one of the levels you will attain when you're on this self-improvement journey. You're going to get to this level where there might be this a, a situation or your current being and how you're doing things become almost like a pattern you don't want to follow anymore. And so now you have to confess this to yourself first in order to actually improve on the situation and that's by confessing it to others as well. So you're not only breaking it to yourself, even though you know this already, but you have to actually tell yourself so you could sit with it. You then have to go and talk to others about it. If you can't do this, if you can't get over this hump, you won't be experiencing the next level. So, I look forward to these type of moments because that's how I know that I'm making progress. And when you get to this and you find yourself in this situation, you understand that you've been moving forward this whole time. And this is now the challenge for you to finally get to the next level can you pass this level can you get out of this level or is this level going to keep you like entrapped for a really long time and you're going to fail over and over again until one day you get it and when you get it it's after like 10 years it's either that or you do it now it's that simple why don't you just do it now It's literally that simple. It's physically that simple. Mentally, it might not be that simple, but it's not that far off. You can talk yourself into getting it done now. It's not that difficult. You talk yourself into waking up every night from your sleep in the morning. In the morning, at 7 a.m., you tell your mind to tell your physical body to wake up now. So why can't you do this thing that you've always been needing to do now? Why can't you just do it right now? It's me, it's everybody else. We keep going around and around and we're ringing around the rosy. When we know what we're supposed to do, but we rather act like there's excuses to come up with and then find solutions for. And but all this is fake because we know what we got to do. We're just deciding to delay it by taking more actions that are unnecessary to the task. We understand fully what we have to go out and do to get it done now. But we choose not to for now. We choose to do other things in the meantime to buy us time because we are not actually ready to combat this task now. But I simply look at this like why are we doing that when we know exactly what we have to do? 
You know what I mean? Why are we keep doing that if we know exactly what we have to do to get it done right now? You already know this, but I'm the master mo, and that's also my Instagram. I'm all about the self improvement journey and education, which means. As I am progressing through my self-improvement journey, I can also teach others how to do it and also teach the ones who don't realize they need to do this to get to realize how to do it. Education is a big part of what keeps us entrapped into whichever current level we are at. It would only take some more knowledge than you already currently know, something more than you have ever known, just a little step higher, to get out of the previous level and step into the next one. Even if it's a minuscule move, you just learned something that you did not know yesterday. You learned it, apply it, you're somewhere different now. You're somewhere different now. And these are small skills that we pick up along our journey. But there's a big lesson behind these small skills. The lesson you learned behind all of this is massive. It's a massive lesson you're learning over a little action. I will give you an example. It's like understanding what you need to do right now to get to the next level, but you decide to sit there and act like you need to come up with some excuses to follow in order to buy you some delay time before you actually complete the task. You stepping into this, you know exactly what you have to do to get it done right now. But you decide that you need to do other things in the meantime to buy you some time to somehow cope with the success you're about to receive from taking this action. Does that make sense to you? No, it doesn't. Why are you trying to cope with something that you, first of all, you have not achieved, and second of all, if you have succeeded at achieving it, you should not be coping with this. You should be celebrating. But a lot of these people are fucking clueless, and they need somebody to teach them how to think. And it's hard for me to sit here and say that, but a lot of people are actually stupid in the mind and need somebody external from their head to stand there and teach them how to think. Now, If you need that type of service, you're gonna go to Instagram. 
and you're gonna look up the master mo the master mo there's maybe three million little moes running out around here acting like they understand something about something listen I don't know what they are talking about I am the master mo the one him And by now, you are already realizing this. If you need this type of service, where you need somebody to come in to enhance your thought, you're gonna go to Instagram, the master mo. Click on my profile. What I need you to do is send me a message Stating that you need the service. If you are not following my profile, I will not answer your question. Nor service your needs. You must be following my Instagram. And if you don't, that's completely fine. I'm not here to force anybody. But if you don't, follow my Instagram, you don't need the service enough. So this gives me a gauge on how many people are actually serious about this and how many are not. Find me. Send me a message. Once again, this is the Master Monk.